Hi guys, welcome to my channel Lush Gardener. I hope you guys are fine and are safe. In today's video, we are talking about another beautiful echeveria called as Echeveria Noble. Now, a lot has not been mentioned about this variety on the internet. Uh, the parentage is also not mentioned. Uh, it is an hybrid or probably a cultivar variety because it's not a natural species of Echeveria. So most probably this is an cultivar. Uh, it's an extremely beautiful succulent tends to become really red in color as of now the colors are not picking up on this camera but it's an absolutely beautiful succulent uh, the care requirement remains the same what we use for our other succulents the soil has to be loose porous and well draining ensure that you water only when the soil is completely dry now you need to understand that you cannot keep this succulent underwater for a really long time because as you can see uh, the leaves do not have a lot of space to store water which means that they do run out of water so you have to ensure that you have a proper watering schedule when it comes to this variety now this particular uh, Achvaria Noble was put in the mountain soil I said that I'm going to do an update video I will do it very soon uh, this is how it tends to look like uh, now definitely the succulent has shrunk because uh, earlier it was an indirect bright light with a plastic pot which retains light moisture but now it's in concrete pot with the mountain soil without any uh, garden soil hence it is getting stressed much more compared to what it was earlier but it still looks absolutely beautiful now uh, this tends to look like a bloom i'm not very sure i'm just going to wait for some time uh, i initially thought that it's a pup but then i realized that it is just little bit lower than the crown area so most of the time whenever there is a growth like this it's usually a bloom stalk so you can see it is right beneath the crown area so uh, this would be a bloom stalk and now when I'm checking it closely as you can see there are a lot of blooms I was quite excited earlier thinking that it is a pup but now it looks like it's a bloom stalk so I will wait for some time and then uh, give it a cut now it's a very easy to grow succulent if you are a beginner you can add it in your collection uh, only thing that you have to do is give it the basic care requirements that is soil watering and a good amount of light now it does require a good amount of light morning direct sunlight for five to six hours after acclimating it only then you'll be able to see those beautiful colors uh, the colors are not being picked up on this camera so i'm going to put the image of how it tends to look like but as i said whenever you are putting your succulents out in even for that matter morning direct sunlight for five to six hours ensure that your succulent is completely acclimated to direct sunlight otherwise the leaves will get burnt uh, that is one of the most important thing you can even give it indirect bright light but if you're going to provide it with indirect bright light then the colors will not be uh, much visible it's going to be as light in color the colors will fade Now because this variety belongs to the genus of Echeveria, very soon it is going to get into its growing period which is the summer. So if you are a person who tends to use fertilizers, you can now use a liquid based fertilizer. Use it probably once a month or once in two months. Please do not add fertilizers during the winter months. Now guys, just because you can add fertilizers, that does not mean that you are going to add too much. Remember, Echeverias do not like a highly nutrient soil or a highly organic soil. They prefer a lean nutrient soil. So do not over fertilize your succulents otherwise it's going to make it very weak it's going to invite fungus mold on the succulents so you need to be extremely careful propagation is pretty simple it will tend to put out offsets i did check and it was putting out a small little pup i think it's not visible in this one but it is going to be visible over here as you can see i had showed you guys the last time it has a small little pup once it reaches a decent size you can go ahead and separate it from the mother plant you can even do a beheading you can do a stem cutting stem cutting again is possible in this kind of an area because it tends to have a slight amount of stem 
you can do her beheading stem cutting so as you can see this one also was a stem cutting it has started to put out new roots so i'm going to go ahead and pot it in the pot it will give it an individual pot for this one so it's very easily uh, you can propagate this variety of succulent you can even do a leaf propagation because it belongs to the variety of echeveria it will also get propagated via leaves stem cuttings beheadings uh, separating the offsets from the mother plant once they reach a decent size so it's very easy to multiply this succulent uh, this succulent usually does not get affected with mealy bugs but it's always better to be vigilant and check the underneath of the leaves or especially on the lower part of the stem you might find mealy bugs uh, aphids could attack uh, the bloom stalk and even the mealy bugs can attack it so if it's of no use to you it's always better to cut it off so it's a fairly easy to grow succulent i have added it in level easy because if you are a beginner you can definitely uh, grow this succulent provided that you give it the proper uh, basic care requirements and it's going to do quite well so guys i hope that this video was helpful to you if it was please hit the like button if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing to it. Until then, take care, stay safe and keep propagating.